Viewer discretion is advised. Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of LSPDFR. My name is Yo Adrian and today we're going to be back out here with the Los Santos Police Department in this awesome pack made by Jules Winfield and I gotta say, I like the pack a lot. Comes with an Impala which is kind of cool, you normally don't see Impalas in packs anymore but this one actually looks really really cool. Made by Jules Winfield. I gotta say the texture on it I absolutely love, especially the CVPI that came with it as you guys saw in the 2020 FPIU video. Yeah, the texture of the CVPI looks actually really nice. So does actually all the textures in this pack. They actually look really, really phenomenal. I'm a sucker for a, like blue textures and this actually kind of makes it stand out which is really, really, really nice. Really happy for it. I really enjoy the pack. Here's a look at the interior of the Chevrolet Impala. I haven't used an Impala in a while so I figured why not go ahead and show one off. Had it in the pack so let's go ahead and use it. But here's a look at the interior. Got ourselves a little laptop there, watch guard dash cam, cage, and a rifle. No shotgun today. That's pretty much the interior with the spotlight and all. Here's a look at your lights. Stage one, we've got some red and blues flashing in the back, as well as nothing in the front. Stage two, we'll get corner stroke, we'll get corners up in the front there. And then same thing in the back with the flashing in the corners, and then just full out stage three, we'll have flashing wigwag taillights, full on light bar. And my favorite are these actual bumper lights down here. These things look phenomenal. They're like actual LED lights, which is really, really, really cool. But yeah, guys, that's kind of what we're rolling today. As you see, it's kind of kind of snowing out here today. Not too bad. Just kind of like a little, it's a blizzard, but not really a blizzard. Currently out here at the downtown cab company in East Vinewood, we had a report of a vandalism on one of the taxis. As you see there, the one taxi that I don't believe has the sign on it right here. So we had a little vandalism with it. With the, I believe it was this taxi. I don't remember. It was a call. No, it was this one that had no advertisement. Someone stole the advertisement. So, and on that one as well. Someone was stealing like, all the advertisements on the taxis and whatnot. So that's please. You see how this taxi has it in the middle. How that one has it up front. It's it's kind of weird. There's like three different variants of the taxi. So that's kind of what we were kind of going for today. It was a vandalism call on the taxis. But, as we hit that fucking thing. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Uh, 241 dispatch. Show me 1041 and 108. Be out available for calls. Let's see what we can get into out here today. It's snowing. That dude's wearing shorts. That person supposedly almost got ran over. And we have the security guard requesting assistance. Let's go and respond to that. 241, San 4. I'm out 76 of that. We had a security guard requesting assistance on a call here, about a mile and a quarter out. I want a code two response. Okay, code two. We could do code two response. We can do a code two response. Didn't take no time to get this call, did it, ladies and gentlemen? We just got right into the action on this one as we respond to a security guard that is requesting assistance at some sort of. Um, uh, business or residence or something along those lines. I don't know. It's hard telling. It's very, very hard telling. They didn't really give us any information on where to go. They just kind of said that one required assistance and we almost flipped our Impala. Let's go ahead and do first person. Oh, we got a vehicle right there. Kind of driving in the snow is a little bit different. I need to throw in that icy like car mod because I'm going to have snow all throughout January and stuff so I'm going to try to throw in that like icy car mod and stuff which I think will make it a little bit more realistic and whatnot but then again there's going to be a lot of idiots driving out on the roadways too so something we need to kind of like watch out for as well we kind of clear through these intersections here there we go man they really want us to go all the way out here good god wasn't expecting to take us out this far, but I guess they wanted us this far, so that's where we're going. But I can't hardly believe we're almost at 300 LSPDFRs. That's crazy, though. 300 L 300 LSPDFR patrols on this channel. That is pretty freaking crazy. Like, I wouldn't have never expected to even get that far in LSPDFR or even in, like, subscriber count and stuff like that. You guys are truly awesome, and I thank each and every single one of you guys every day for the support. You guys are truly amazing. I never take you guys for granted. I do appreciate it. all the support and everything. It does mean a lot to me that you guys do enjoy the content and stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. 
Alright, 241 dispatch. I'll be at 23 on scene. I'll be out here in Davis. He's gonna be at the hospital. Uh, well, yeah, we'll just, uh, actually, no, we'll just go in over there since it's actually on the, let me just turn on the cruise lights, yeah, we got cruise lights, and takedowns, we don't nearly need the takedowns, there we go, we don't normally ever use the cruise lights, so I feel like we'll just start using those, turn on the spotlight, there we go. What do we got going on with the security guard? going on sir how you doing today good you're here yeah I'm, I'm here what's going on individual was an employee here but has been previously fired I can't get them to leave the premises yeah distracting other workers you can't get any work done we need you to get this person to leave in any way you can thanks all right Hey, my man, what's going on today? Why are you, what's going on out here today? Um, um, hello? 241, I got one individual running from me. Do not enter that car, dude. Do not enter that car. 241, I got one stealing my vehicle. Um, 241, I'm going to be coming during a Los Santos EMS fire fucking ambulance. This is fucking weird. 241, I've commandeered an ambulance from the uh, hospital. Be initiating pursuit, eastbound Innocence Boulevard. Multiple cops just fucking dicking around. I've never gotten into pursuit with an ambulance before. This is fucking weird. We got a cop on the shoulder here. Did he just get hit by a train? Oh shit, he probably just got hit by a train. Get on the ground, dude. Get on the ground. Get on the fucking ground, man. I have never actually fucking done a pursuit in a fucking ambulance before. This is legit. This is definitely legit. My cruiser got hit by a train, it looks like. I, I, I don't even... I really don't know what the hell to say about that. 241 dispatch. I got a suspect in custody right now. My cruiser, as well as a sheriff cruiser, got hit by a train. Be out here low and seen in McDonald Street. Send a railroad crew out here. I got one of their gates broken down. My car is on its, uh, my car's flipped over as well. Ten four. Over here. Go and take a seat for me real quick. Oh, he just probably, oh, nope, he didn't get hit. Try to get this out of here get it on one side off the roadway there's our fucking cruiser flipped over there that was fucking intense I ended up having to commandeer an ambulance just to fucking I like how it's so easy to move this though I had to commandeer an ambulance just to fucking do this pursuit now that's something different that is completely fucking different. I had to commandeer this ambulance, which now the city's probably gonna have to pay for. I'm just gonna put it on the other end of this, just to show that the road is kind of closed. There we go. That taco truck is about to probably get killed. Move, move, move. Taco truck, get out. Whew, that was close. Whew. That was fucking close. Holy shit. Go over here, bud. Go over here. I really have no words what to say. He just kind of took off in my vehicle. I went and commandeered an ambulance, tried to initiate a pursuit. Other officers were in the area already. So, um, luckily we got him stopped before anything, before any further, uh, Things happened. We ended up losing a LSPD cruiser, possibly losing an LSPD cruiser, and we got the hopefully the employees of the railroad coming out here. We lost the sheriff cruiser as well. It looks like there's one on its side right there. 
Alright, at this point in time, you have the right to remain silent if the intended sale be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you cannot afford and want to be appointed to. You do you understand your rights? I, I don't care. This is bullshit, man. You're the one who stole my vehicle, and you're the one who freaking stole my vehicle, took off in a pursuit, and then wrecked my vehicle. Let me ask you, what, what were you doing out there back there at the hospital? So you're waiting for a friend. Well, are you waiting for them to get off work or something? Yeah, go ahead and take a picture, ma'am. Go ahead and take a picture. So you're waiting for some. You're waiting for the. You're waiting for a friend out over there. All right, two forty-one. You send me additional code one. Uh, code two. All right, what were you doing? What were you thinking when you tried stealing my cruiser, man? What were you thinking when that happened? No idea. Okay. You doing any drinking today? Have you? You don't drink alcohol? Okay. Where'd you come from? You don't live around here. Do you live around here at all? So you coming from work? Do you live around here at all? Live with your grandma? Okay. I got you, got you, got you. Alright, you don't have anything legal on you. Do you need guns, knives, pocket knives, use needles, anything like that, do you? I totally forgot. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go have my buddy over here patch you down real quick just to make sure, okay? I'm not patting him down for me. You probably heard over the radio what happened. Pursuit and then... Yeah. <laughs> We got pepper spray, lock pick, and a used condom. I really don't want to know what they use condoms for. <laughs> 241 dispatch. Run 2729 for me. It's going to be Max and Milano via 31595. Got an expired license, so we'll go ahead and cite him for that for driving with expired license. You probably heard what happened, right? Right, come over here with me. Thanks. Oh, he's going. He's gonna go away, I guess. All right, go ahead and hang tight for me. I'm gonna go try to grab and have a department issue me another vehicle, and then we're gonna get you in there, okay? Go ahead and hang tight for me. Let me see if I can get his license this way, real quick. There we go. Okay, so he's kind of relaxed and everything, so. He's got an expired license, though. That's the only, like, bad thing about it. But we're going to go ahead and let the department issue me a new vehicle. And then I'll get back to with you guys. There's a fucking shirtless guy out here in the middle of the fucking snow on the dude's shirtless. That's freaking weird. Alright, 241, you can show me off that call code 4. I'm going to have individual in my vehicle. Come in here with me. Go ahead and get in the vehicle. We're going to put you in the car, okay? Alright, so you understand what you're going to jail for today, right? There's another sheriff vehicle right over there that completely screwed up. Got, or that's a LSPD vehicle. Jesus Christ, these cops need to learn how to drive. So you understand what you're going to jail for today, right? You got Grand Theft Auto, you got Reckless Driving, Reckless Endangerment, we also got attempt, uh, attempted, uh, um, got attempted assault on a police officer for almost running into me when you stole my vehicle. And you also are gonna have a, drive, you're also gonna get cited for driving with driving with an expired license, okay? As well as damage to city property since you did drive my car into a, the railroad crossing, okay? All right, any questions or anything like that for me? All right, give me one second. Let's get out your paperwork, and we'll take you down to the prison. Okay. All righty. That was crazy, though. That's a crazy scene. I don't think I've ever had anything like that happen to me before. I commandeered an ambulance. That's a first for me. <laughs> so we've got. It was gonna be. Just. Be disorderly conduct at the. Uh, uh, attempted homicide. Well, actually, let's see if there's an attempted one on here. Yeah, it'd be attempted on us. He was resisting arrest with violence because it ended up taking my car and almost running into me. 
was resisting a fair within an arrest. Um, against persons, he was disorderly conduct since he was over there at the um, hospital, making being over there and making sure everyone's not doing their jobs and whatnot. Against property is going to be grand theft auto, theft of government property because technically a police vehicle is government property. Authority, we've got. He didn't have anything on him except like a condom and a lockpick, so nothing around there. And it'll be reckless driving, evading arrest. And is there like driving or something? Property. I want to be criminal trespass. Is there? Okay, well I guess there's nothing there. So he's got five felonies, three misdemeanors. I'm going to create that report, and then we're also going to go ahead and cite him for a couple different things. So he's got eight total charges against him. Just from one scenario. And then we'll also go ahead and write a couple different citations out for him. So he'll be expired license. Um, going to be reckless driving, reckless endangerment. At fault, at an accident. None of those. None of those. Resisting interfering with arrest. Disorderly conduct. And that's it. So he's going to get those citations as well, issuing $1,600. Well, actually, I can't really cite him for half of these just because we already arrested him for it. So we ar arrested him for those. So we're just going to end up citing him for the... Reckless and at being at fault at an accident, and the reckless endangerment, as well as the expired license. I think that's the only thing. Yep, that is. So that'd be six hundred fifty dollars. Be three, three points total. It'd be a citation on him. We got a traffic accident in Rancho that we'll go ahead and take as well. We're gonna have two traffic accidents today. I'm not gonna actually. No, I'm not gonna take that. 241 dispatch can you send me a 1051 times 4 to my 24 vehicles I've got my vehicle uh, upside down it's a rollover as well as send me one for a um, ambulance Then I'm going to try to get ones for these two vehicles out here. 241, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Get, get, get over the fence, dude. Get over the fence, man. 241, shots are fired. Lowenstein Boulevard, McDonald Street. Suspect open fire from a vehicle. Officer down. Where are they shooting from is my question. Where are the hell are they shooting from? I can't see the subject. I can't even see the damn subject. Two forty one, shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Two forty one suspects gonna be down right now. Send me EMS to my twenty for one. I got What the hell just happened? Send me EMS, I got an officer down. Let's get this vehicle off of him. Try to see if we can perform CPR on him. And the ambulance ran him over. The ambulance ran him over. We got a bullet wound in our back. This is turning into a very crazy scene. Holy shit. Holy, holy shit. 
So we got a fire over there. 241, you're in the bleed. Send me a uh, fire department out here. Never mind, I guess the fire put itself, away, put itself out. Well, at least the cops are alive. That's a good thing. That is a very, very, very good thing. Good God, man. This is a crazy-ass scene. 241, you owe me another 51. For another police vehicle. Roll over. Yes, yeah, go ahead and tell the cop vehicle. She's going to be deceased at this time. 241, you owe me a corner unit for one as well. It's going to be a female. I don't understand what the hell's going on today. This is fucking intense as shit. I'm gonna try to. This is literally. Oh, uh, we just ran over a fire truck or a firefighter. God damn. 241, you're out of 28 for me. It's going to be 05, Adam Young, David 661, San Andreas 28. Black Asia, four door. Target license plate 05. Stolen Adam vehicle. Young, David 661, a possible stolen vehicle. Proceed with caution. Santa Four Dispatch, can you notify uh, the owner of the vehicle? I have it right here on Lowenstein Boulevard. Windows have been shot out of it. It's going to be part of an investigation. Send me your 51 for it. As well as I need a 51 for a uh, taxi. Well, that's pretty cool how it has like a for hire sign on it. That's pretty freaking cool. We'll call tow truck for that as well. We'll call tow trucks for all of these fucking vehicles. Well, not search it. Jesus Christ, this is just a crazy ass scene that I have no idea exactly what the hell happened. We'll call a tow truck for this one. And that gonna unfold like that. We're just gonna get out of here. We're just gonna get out of this area. We'll go ahead and go to the nearest jail. 241 dispatch you can clear me off that call show me code 4108 we're just gonna get away from there and we're not gonna look back we're just gonna go take him to the jail on our own and then we're gonna call it quits but i hope you guys did enjoy the episode kind of a little clusterfuck going on down there especially since we had to commandeer an ambulance that's the first for me actually is commandeering an ambulance i've never had to do that in my entire lspd4 career or even commandeer another vehicle for that for that uh for that record but uh yeah, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Smash that like button if you did. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you think of the video, as well as hit that subscribe button. If you guys do have any requests to make for LSPDFR, please let me know down in the comments below. Or even head in the Discord server and drop it down in the suggestion box. I'm always open to new different patrols and like different suggestions and stuff, so just let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see and what you guys don't want to see. Now we're just going to let another cop take him. But that was a very crazy, crazy episode, guys. I honestly have no words for it. We ended up getting our vehicle stolen, had to commandeer an ambulance. And then as we were clearing up the scene, we had someone get out of a stolen vehicle and start shooting at us. So that was, uh, that was a little bit of a crazy, crazy twist. But yeah, guys, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. You guys are truly awesome. I will catch y'all later. Peace.